Okay, the last and final drawing we'll look at for some of the sections is we're going to take a look at really drawing one of our own fresh sections at a larger scale uh, with an object that has only 2D information. And that's going to require us to sketch a little bit, maybe even make some assumptions, but that's okay given that there is just so little information. These examples are more to get you in the rhythm of drawing uh, proper section a drawing with proper section conventions. So the first thing I'll do is we'll look at the centering bushing and we'll take a look at the crosshairs, right, these centers of these holes drilled through, and we'll take a look at the information from both views, right? If we look at this hole and we follow the side view, the hole actually has two cutouts, right? It's one drilled all the way through, right? And then it's one larger drill halfway through, right? That's called uh, counter boring. Um, and we'll start to look across here and what I'm going to say is I'm going to say this object kind of looks like um, let's see if I can sketch it here I think this object basically has a little raised plate cylinder Right? It has these three drilled holes, but the drilled holes are actually counterboard, so they have like a little lip to them, like we were saying. And this is just a little quick sketch to give a sense. Right? And then there's this, whatever this thing is in the middle, well, this thing in the middle is raised up. Right? There's this area, which is raised up portion. So let's say... That looks something like that. It's a quick doodle, right? This area here is a raised up lip, and this is all cut out. So there's actually this little part that's kind of cut out in here. Right? It goes all the way through the object. So when we look at this object, we want to go ahead and shade some of the areas that are being uh, there's no material they're being cut through. So let's go ahead and look. This area in the middle where we have the drilled portion, this is all a cut out milled keyway. So there's no material in here, right? This area right here is drilled all the way through. Right, and that corresponds to the information we see over here where you have this area drilled all the way through, right? Not this larger portion, just there, right? If we follow this along, we have a lot more drilled area. And we'll look at that momentarily. So we figured out what's material, what's not, and now we need to show a section that tells the whole story um, with regards to the part. So what we'll do is we'll take, and we're going to create a full section. The full section is going to cut right through uh, the vertical uh, portion of this centering bushing. So I'm going to go ahead and use a straight edge. And I'm going to do my section line. Well, my section line, since it's cutting through the center of a circular object, I can use the center line style. So I'll do the dash line. the direction I'll be looking is this direction, right? I'm going to look towards this direction, so I'll make and when I look at that cutting line right there, one thing we might also do when you have more than one of these is you may label them, so this may be labeled A, right? Section A, and we'll follow that over to the view. So now we've said we're cutting here and we're looking that direction. That means you're pretty much going to pretend like all that's gone. Right? All we're going to show is the material that's being cut in the side view by this line here. So there's a little material there, some material here, as well as over here. 
So now we're going to do our projection lines. And I'm going to project all my primary lines across, and then we'll start framing in the side viewer section. Notice I'm projecting all of these lines that are coming from the view here. Now of course we already have this piece of information drawn for us but it's going to change line weights because we're no longer looking at it from the side, we're actually cutting it. Now, those are the majority of our projection lines for the time being. We're going to come back in a little while and take a look at some hidden lines, maybe some additional information to make this section uh, more successful. So, as usual, Right, you can either take and do your projection lines and draw the paper this way. Um, I tend to like to orient the ground uh, where the object might sit with the bottom of my paper. So I'm just going to rotate and make sure that we've got the paper aligned how we want. So we're going to draw the bottom face of the object, right, the back of the object, which follows that line there. We're cutting through the flat portion of the plate, right, which is this area over here. We're kind of cutting through this object like that. And we're getting rid of all this material there. So we can project a few other lines up as well. We'll project some stuff from our side view. All right, and that gives us a lot of information we can work from. So the first bit of material we're cutting through is this area here, right? This first bit of metal we're cutting through. So we're going to take our heavy pen and we're going to darken that area that we're cutting. And that's only this small portion. Right, that little portion there corresponds to that little piece of metal we're cutting right there. And we'll come back and hatch all everything in just a little bit. Now, the next area, right, where we keep going on our cutting plane line, there's no material. There's no material around here. So all that happens is we're just going to draw the background of the section, right? There's nothing being cut, so these are all object lines. So I'm going to go completely flat over to the raised portion. portion bumps up and it goes over right and there's one additional portion this face has some lines that would show up right this face would have these lines that would show up throughout the object and we'll show the bottom right we know there's a base So now we need to follow on to the next portion where we're cutting through. There's also one additional line here we want to darken. And our cutting plane line goes down and then it hits this material here, right? This material here is the large raised portion. So that's going to become bold. It stays bold all the way till we drill to the hole, and then it follows the plate back. So it basically is cutting all the way through here and back up. So we're going to follow the side view profile information we have.
that fills in the information that we're cutting through here and finally we cut through this last portion right there's nothing down here in the middle right there shouldn't be any lines nothing going through there so we're only cutting through this portion We've defined all of our edges. We have the section outlines cut and it's time to do our hatching. Now this is the time where you want to make sure you keep your paper straight and you follow those 45 degree rules. So if I have my 45 degree triangle, I'm going to follow that all the way through. Try to space them evenly. show them in the areas where you've drawn the heavy bold lines, right? If you're not cutting material, don't hatch anything. There's our primary section view. You can come back and if you wanted to, you can show your center lines for your drilled holes. Right, we have this is actually a center line. And one additional thing we didn't think about was when we look through this section, the last little part that really makes it pop out is there's hidden lines still involved. This drilled counterboard hole we talked about, right, that looks just like this, one of these three, is behind here. So if we took our projection lines from our counterboard hole, and we just look at how to define that, we can project over where it is Right, this is the upper lip, this is the lower lip, right, the part that's drilled all the way through here, and there. And then what you would do is we would come back here and we would dash in all that information. So we'd have dash lines that follow the contours of that counterboard hole. Now keep in mind those are all hidden lines. There's no uh, cut, section cut here, and that would fulfill your section view A.